you know when they talk about Okay, Shalom. <coughs> okay, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Brakat the Yahweh, Brakat the Yahweh Shai. Brakat the Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, our elders of GMS. All right, the salutation to Yahweh that's continue to do this work. Salutation, peace, and blessings. Okay, um, uh, speaking on this is a little bit about order, you know, and uh, and how, um, you know, that, that nigga wisdom, man, you know, niggas hear this wisdom and, you know, they, they pick and choose what they want to, what, what they want to hear and, and what they want to, uh, uh, make their ears dull, you know what I mean? This truth is only meant for the men of the Lord, like the scripture says, uh, um, the spirit of the prophecies is subject to the prophecies, meaning that we, uh, it's our ownership. You understand what I mean? It's, it's our, uh, you know, it's our, it's our, it's our, it's our, it's our, it's our lot, you know, you know, you know, this pretty much this video is inspired by this, what I heard. I mean, I've heard this before, but it's, it's a, it's a blessing that to, to get this, to receive this, um, uh, you can actually show you that these people know that this word is being pushed out. You know, it's only been pushed. And the only reason why these guys know this is because men of the Lord out prophesying and teaching this, you know. But um, this truth is, like I said, it's not for everyone, you know. And everyone else that that only want to choose to hear and to accept that they're Hebrew Israelites and cast off the rest, man. You consider, as far as the scriptures go, you're considered an hypocrite, you know. So let me say, let me explain some, let me raise this question as well. Uh, um, uh, you got all these riches, you got all this fame, you know, you're Hebrew Israelites, but what are you doing with it? You know, that's the thing about these, these hypocrites, these, these actors, man, these actors, these entertainers, these athletes, they're hypocrites, you know? So, but anyway, um. Take a listen. Listen to this. And it's going to go through a list of them. You know, it's going to actually go through a few clips of a few different famous people, you know. Oh, just like when they talk about Jews, mm. people, you got to realize the first Jews were black. Kodak Black once said, hey, hey, I'm an Israelite. My diamonds is real ice. I'm an Israelite. My diamonds is real ice. Nick Cannon also said that black people are the true Hebrews. Right. You they they want to mute the, he they the wanna, Hebrews. They want to mute that. Right, right. You understand? Even though we are the true Hebrews. Cassidy said, my relationship with Yahweh will always be more important to me than being rich. They wasn't calling the higher power the things they calling them now. You know what I'm saying? He had a name. You know what I'm saying? The name that they used was Yahweh. Kanye West said, I'm just the 12 tribes of Judah, Judah. People need to realize the first. You see what I mean? I'll read a quick scripture here. This is the book of Job 13 and 16. It says, he also shall be my salvation for an hypocrite shall not come before him. All right. Hear diligently my speech and my declaration with your ears. Behold, now I have or ordered my cause. I know that I shall be justified. All right. So here we, there you go. You know, uh, it goes far beyond hearing and, and knowing that you're a Hebrew Israelite, you know, what are you doing? I mean, what are you, what are they doing about it? You know, not a goddamn thing, but which the first, when I first started playing this, you didn't catch the beginning. It's like, he's trying to teach someone, you know, listen to this, listen to this. As Jews were black. And a lot of times what these youngsters don't know, you know, when they talk about. You hear what he said first time these youngsters don't know. He's taking a role as a teacher, man. You know, he's taking, literally he's taking the role. This is his near lot, you know. And let me tell you something. There's nothing, there's not a damn thing these devils, these black devils can teach you about being a Hebrew Israelite, man. Not a damn thing, you know. <laughs> but let me give you a couple of scriptures here, um. Let me go. Let me get off of this here. Here we go. Let me go to um. 
There's a couple of them I want here. There's a couple. I hope this is it. Yeah. And Philip ran thither to him and heard, and heard him read the prophet Isaiah's and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I accept some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. That the place of the scriptures which he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and like a lamb dumb before his shear, so open he not his mouth. But the point, and but the point is, and he said, how can I accept son? Man should guide me. You know, so it's through the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh, that he send you men to give you understanding of these scriptures, you know. He send you men to teach you these scriptures to, to give you the proper understanding so you won't be going out there like a jackass looking like uh, ISUPK. You know, literally, um, they're not all about the scriptures at all, you know. They use the scriptures as a, as a front, you know, as a, to make them look good, just like these niggas were jewelry. It's like these niggas, uh, uh, people of the world got to have uh, fancy cars and jewelry and, and suits and nice clothing and they got their 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 whole mindset is set is is set on materialistic things, you know. Just like I said, to, just to make you look good, and that's the whole thing with IUIC and 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 and, and, and ISUPK and and a couple of those other camps, man. They are out there literally using this truth just to make them look good, just to shine. You know what I'm saying? And the scriptures mention about they those that shine, wicked men, those that shine, man. You know. You got to teach this truth. You got to keep it. And you can, when you can, like I said, the scriptures also, you know, let me get that all. This is, this is, this is the scripture that I want. The book it all. Let me, let me get it here. Let me get it here. Let me open it up, up over here in my Bible. You know what? Let me just pull it up on here. Let me pull it up. I'm not sure if it's Revelation. 12. I'm going to speed up here. Give me a second. Okay. Okay, here we go. Yes, yeah, it's, it's Revelation 10. That's what I want. Okay. And this is what you hear these guys blurting out. They didn't take heed to the instructions. They didn't take heed to the uh, to the proper order, you know. So we're going to just jump down to uh, verse uh, eight or nine. And the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again and said, "Go and take the little book, which is open in the hand of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth." And I went unto the angel and said unto him, "Give me the little book." And he said unto me, "Take it and eat it up." And it shall be make thy bellies bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And it was, and he didn't, you notice he didn't say, I took some of the little book and ate some of it up, <laughs> you know, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly became bitter. And he said unto me, thou must prophesy again. And you don't see any of these entertainers prophesying literally at all. You know, so the point is they they hear something and they don't they only pick they picking and choosing what they want to uh, blurt out. And because it does, you know, that finding out that you're a Hebrew Israelite, that's new music, man. That's a beautiful thing to wake up, you know, but that spirit didn't jump on them. You know, they to, to push it and go any go 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 even further with it, you know. So going back to the book of Job, you know. Goddamn hypocrites. Ain't nothing like worse than a hypocrite, man. Nothing worse than a hypocrite. You know? You gotta practice what you preach, brother. <laughs> you know, and got flashing um Federal Reserve notes and and like I said, being being worldly isn't part of the Lord, you know? What did he say that uh 
If you're a friend of the world, you're an enemy to the Most High, to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's the scriptures that's saying that, you know. Okay, so Job 8 and 13 says here, Job 8 and 13 so it says here, Well, it is yet in his gr greenness and not cut down. It withereth before any other herd. So are the paths of all that forget the Most High. All right. So especially you, you, you're hearing the men of the Lord out there uh, pushing the truth. You hear it. You literally hear it, you know, but you choose to go the other way, man. You choose to, to cover your ears, you know. So you choose to forget the Heavenly Father. You forget you choose to forget who put you in the position that you in the first place. Because it's the, through the scriptures. It's Yahweh, Bushim, Yahweh, Shai that uh, 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 makes you poor. It's the Heavenly Father that makes you rich, you know. Uh Where's that? Was that first or second Samuel? Was that first or second Samuel? Let me grab me one of those real quick before I continue on. First or second Samuel uh, two. Okay, it won't take me long to grab this. It won't take me long at all. Okay, here we go. This is first Samuel two and six. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. Here's the point. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bring it low and he lift it up. So it's, they literally don't even give no thanks to the Heavenly Father because he's the one that made you rich in the first place, you know. But then again, you know, scriptures mention that your, constel your consolation, the consolation prize. So this is their lot on this side, not to be men of the Lord, not to be teachers as well, but to be rich men on this side, you know, just to show you examples of how not to be. That's literally she's giving us perfect examples of how not to be, because you know these rich men, they, you know, they they con more concerned about the world, man, you know, more concerned about the world. So when you see them blurting out uh, as far as what they call want to call uh, wisdom and knowledge, you know, is, is they they go off, <laughs> they literally going off, you know, literally going off. So um, um, like the scripture says, men shall teach you, okay. Another point, another scripture on that is, let me grab, already got it pulled up, Isaiah 30, we all know Isaiah 30, Isaiah 30, okay, and therefore will, so lock it, let me just, I'm going to start 18, and therefore will the Lord wait that he may be gracious unto you, and therefore will he be exalted, that he may have mercy upon you. For the Lord is a power of judgment. Blessed are all they that wait for him. All right, and that's, that's purity. That's beautiful right there. Not out there laboring to get rich. I mean, we work, you know, to eat, to feed, to buy things that we need, you know, you know, um, but we're, but we're working and we're learning, you know, learning the scriptures, and also it's teaching the scriptures. It ain't something we learn and keep to ourselves. So it says, blessed are they that wait for him. For the people shall dwell in Zion at Jerusalem. Thou shalt weep no more. He will be very gracious unto thee at the voice of thy cry. When he shall hear it, he will answer thee. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity, and the water of affliction, see, the adversity, you know, uh, um, you know, the adversity, you know, the, the knuckleheads, the scoffers, you know, those demons out there in the highways and bodies, wolves on the highways and the byways, or even even the, or your family in some cases, and a water of affliction, you know, whew, they're being afflicted, you know. Hey, we still got to, hey, we still got to continue this work. It says, yet shall not my thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. This ain't the early 1900s anymore, you know. This is the time of prophecies. This is the day of the Lord, you know, raising up men, you know. It says, but thy eyes shall see thy teacher, you know. And none of those entertainers, none of those entertainers are your teachers, man. You know, your elders, you know. In our, in our case, we start off videos, we always give double honors to our apostles, you know, our elders of Great Millstone. Always, man. You know, and, and when we come up short to show, you know, you know what, doing the work and continuing on this work is just showing our appreciation to the brothers 
on, you know, on, on the, or, or for being a vessel that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai used to wake us, a simple minded fools up, man, out of this world. So, thy, but thy eyes shall see thy teachers, you know. Your teachers are the ones out there pushing that, pushing these prophecies at 100%, you know. You know, and mainly the, uh, you don't mainly warning you don't get that vaccine, and definitely telling you not to get that goddamn RFID chip when it pops out, because it's knocking, man. These prophecies is knocking, you know. So anyway, um, that's enough on that. You know, till next time, Lord willing, I hope you were edified. So till next time, Lord willing, shalom.